I'm going to turn this superhero Vegeta into a Cell Saga Vegeta. And I'm also going to upgrade the articulation. Pop them out of the box here for you. So I can show you a proper before of this figure. I already have a version of this mold, which is already, you know, the current Cell Saga version. But I want to make this one as close as possible to a 3.0. Out of the box, all you can do for ab crunch is that. Shoulder can only go out that far. His hands can't barely touch. There's some sniff stiffness in the in the hips, but I'll have to just play with that. You can see he can still do a lot. Not much for ankle tilt either. Neck though is perfectly fine. That's all good. And cut this guy open, slap him with some clay, and then see how we turn out. So I'm taking him apart right now. And I just simply broke him down at the ball joints to begin with. And then uh, I split open the halves. Put open right here too. Um, th uh, thing to watch out about this if you're taking it apart. This uh, chest piece is a, is one soft bit glued in at the back and the front. Part now these butterflies so I'm actually gonna ditch this hinge system entirely and I'm gonna put a, a ball joint sticking out of the bottom right here so I'm just gonna cut it off right here and right here let me show you like right there and then I'm gonna keep this ball joint but I'm gonna get rid of this one and put a socket here instead I'm gonna use a, a bit like this I'll come over these feet these are actually brand new feet for this superhero figure um, I'm gonna put in a Rebel Tech joint at the heel, or maybe just cut that out. But uh, out of the box, the toe bend only goes that far. But I modified it to uh, go like all the way up like that. So how I do that is I'm actually gonna take this foot apart, right? Just going at the going at the seam line of the foot right there to the heel. All right, and we take it off and. Now I'm going to pop out the pin right here. And there's no teeth on it, so it's just easy to pull out through either end. And I'm going to show you this. I'll move it up. And it stops because of this little wall right here. So what we want to do is just cut that down to size. Right. Like that, I'll clean it up in just a minute. And I'm going to push this little cavity through. And then I want to take out this wall right here. Because that will also get in the way. Let's take that off. So I clean these up a little bit. And I'm going to just put it all back together. Oops, a bit too far. So, so it actually goes back together. I want to put some glue. And look at that. Boom, we fixed it. So for the ball joints of the torso, there was a lot of like figuring shit out, but I think I got something good. Oh man, 
If I could only get the fucking lighting right there we go. All right, I like that a lot. Okay, so there is the ball jumps. I put a ball jump all the way up right there. Two in the middle of the abs where they would fit. And then here's the crutch where you see the double, you know, dumbbell joint kind of tucked up in there. And that goes right in there. You know, once everything's like all sewn together well, I will show you that movie. So I'm going to already have this arm done with this articulation. I'm going to do that to this one. Okay, so all the articulation here is figured out. The pregnant part, I already showed you this, the, the two dumbbell joints pull us apart. You see the socket all the way up there, and as well as that joint right there. I'm going to uh, sand, sand down all the, uh, the sculpt of the clothes so I can put in the, um, the clay to make it look like the sand armor. So at the moment, you can actually crunch pretty far, almost 90 degrees. And then, oops. Right now, he can actually do a good amount more butterfly. Yeah. I saw some playing around to do, clearly. Anyway.
Okay, so here he is, all finished and ready to be painted. I didn't record the majority of the clay process because this was like genuinely very hard to do. Like, it took me legit three weeks on and off work, but still three weeks to fully figure out how to divide the clay up and I'm still figuring out some tolerances, I guess. So I suppose without further ado, I will start painting this guy up. Okay, so here he is all finished up, Vegeta in that beautiful Saiyan armor, and I've got to say, the colors that I chose for this, I really, really like. Just the bright yellows and blues look good, and I'm going to bring in my retail Saiyan, Saiyan armor, or say, well, Android Saga. I think I said Saiyan Saga, I meant Android Saga Vegeta. So you can see the idea I'm going for, where the strap is a part of the butterfly to go in as much as possible. Let me show off that uh, butterfly movement too. He can he can cross over his his hands, and I think I showed you that earlier on the before. Ooh, sorry, he's like I still have to adjust the tolerances of the ball joints. That's just you know uh, that its own custom thing entirely. And he can't barely touch his hands together. Granted, this one is, you know, a lot more solid in general. But I want to show you off that ab crunch on him. And that's even modified to have the stopper removed. Yeah, you can only do that. But, uh, well, but this Vegeta, he can go all the way like that. Like, look at that. And... Because of how this is this is cut, where the back has a little bit has a lot less plastic. 
you can swap them around to where the, the chest actually eats the abs entirely. Then he can go all the way like that. Uh, as, as for the legs, um, it's the same regular articulation. Um, I didn't paint down that far because I thought it'd be covered. That's just an oversight on my part. This didn't turn out as good as I would have hoped it, it would. I mean, prime example, I didn't quite get the, uh, the mold of the chest down that well. It looks a little bit more inspired than actually one for one. Especially where... I did struggle with figuring out how to connect the straps to the chest plate. But it was important to me that, that the straps were a part of the butterfly. That being said, I, I do think that the biceps turned out wonderful. You see how it was before? I think it's just, it's oh so much better. I'm going to bring in my uh, custom 3.0 Goku, which is just using the, uh, the Gohan body painted orange. And uh, here's a quick tip for you if you're customizing with cheap paint and you know it's going to chip. Use a dark wash or a black wash and those scuffs, those chips, blend in with just the regular wear look of the paint already. Like, I don't even notice those. I think these two look really good next to each other. Looking like 3.0 figures. Even though they're necess not necessarily... They're still just customs, but they look good. They, I, I like them. This has been your boy, Victoria Beaver 69. And this has been my custom Cell Saga Vegeta. And I hope you have a good day. Palm in your face. Unknown souls fighting the war. Use the power and wisdom from those long before. Stop!